I'm the manufacturer that brings you lame and boring rides. Comes a coaster that is equally lame and boring as all the others made by this company. Which really doesn't surprise me, but oh well. 13. At Alton Towers Resort. You've got to be kidding me. You had one chance, Alton Towers. One chance to at least make an effort to give this coaster a good name. Okay, I have a question for you, Alton. Who names a coaster a number? Now, I know how much you want to make another coaster with a creepy theme and all, but when you already have a mutant kid from outer space, a dude with his head in the clouds, and a child that wants to make you smile, Aww. Don't aww, he will try everything to make this happen, flipping you 14 times upside down, and even using laughing gas for flip's sake. So, if you have mental problems, don't come to this park. You love the feeling you felt on Draft Towers. Now get ready for a coaster that will honestly do nothing but make you remember the sweet and iconic corkscrew. Uh, Stubward, why are you crying? Well, just because... Because the corkscrew was... It was so good, and it's been nearly a year now since she's left Olsen Towers, and I don't... I don't like it. I, I really want... I really want to... <laughs> I just, I just want her back, you know. I can't. Her smoothness, her intensity, her vacoma, um, vacoma nessness. She was just the perfect coaster. Hey, look! Alton Towers are getting a new coaster next year. Whoa! Alton Towers are saying it's going to be the world's most scariest coaster. I can't wait. Can you? I can't wait. <laughs> There was no other way. <gasps> and that, my friends, was the reaction of every UK coaster enthusiast at the time. And no jokes, we were all expecting more from Intamin. Although, many would say that was pretty low to begin with. Start your humiliating experience by leaving the station, as an annoying Tannoy says, Oh dude, if you go down to the woods today alone, Fort Park won't be getting an RMC. Oh, so that's why they got rid of the single rider queue. Enter a load to the ground left hand turn out of the station, with sending the lift hill, and then embrace for the first drop. And then, guess what, a helix. So, 13 can now join the club of Wicker Man, Goliath, Superman, Rider Steel, and Rita. Oh yeah, I forgot my personal favourite, Flying Fish. After that, enter an airtimeless hill before going into a zero-g store- Oh, damn it. I was commentating the wrong coaster. You see, this is the world's most scariest coaster. Not this load of intimate mess. Experience another hill before turning left. And then, entering the amazing twisty section that is way too inspired by Intimidator 305. But it sadly failed miserably once we came to ride it, mainly because it's a dumb family coaster. A second lift hill follows before you enter a building which some dumb GP will think is the station. And that spooky ride attendant at the front? That's Harry from Coaster Birth. Unsurprisingly, because you found out online as everyone else did, you experience the drop track element, the first in the world. Zoom backwards into a tunnel, enter around to the tunnel, go into some track exchange thing, whatever coaster enthusiasts call it, and then enter straight ahead into the station. You know, I think the sad thing about this ride is that it could have been way, 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 way better. It could have been like Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure Coaster? Oh no, it's a bad named coaster. Wait, Hagrid's what is opening? I give up. I am fed up with seeing bad coaster names around the world. Haha, <laughs> I told you stop it at OCD when it comes to coaster names. 14. The ride everyone forgets about at Alton Towers. Ride it now if you enjoy disappointment. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Why not go and check out my channel right here? Subscribe if you wish. And also check out one of our other parodies.
right here. Have a great day, everybody.